Just two seasons ago, Little Rock hit rock bottom. A program worth 25 losses, leading to a lack of excitement here in the Arkansas capital city. But now in just year two of the Darrell Walker era, the culture has changed. And today, the Trojans look to add another banner to the Raptors as Little Rock welcomes in Louisiana in their home finale. Since the 1931-32 season, these two programs from the state of Arkansas have faced each other on the hardwood. And once again, the arena will be filled with a sea of maroon and scarlet. Today, for the 90th time, the Little Rock Trojans looking to notch seven straight wins, take on their neighbors from Jonesboro in the Arkansas State Red Wolves. After being picked to finish in the Sunbelt Cellar during the preseason poll, Kamani Johnson said Little Rock came into the 2019-2020 season with a humongous chip on their shoulders, looking to prove the doubters wrong. Fast forward four months, and now the first place Trojans look to continue their redemption story, hosting an improved Louisiana Monroe squad. Last week, Little Rock assistant Alfred Jordan called the Trojans' upcoming matchups against Troy and South Alabama the Revenge Tour. And vengeance is what the first place team in the Sun Belt achieved. Now tonight begins the Not a Fluke Tour as Little Rock takes on Coastal Carolina. It's a new year in the Arkansas capital city and the Little Rock Trojans are ringing in 2020 with an undefeated start in conference. Now back inside the Jack Stevens Center, Daryl Walker's team looks to achieve their best Sun Belt start in five seasons. Tonight going up against a tough defensive squad in Texas State. 